more than a week we had discussions with the rajan and varadhan chandra about distraining the topic for this lecture as well as the method of conducting this function <clears throat> at first it has been named as a corporate management principles from vedic wisdom this uh, topic is very prosaic it may be so much attracting <clears throat> first you must understand that the moola veda it has come for revealing something which is far beyond one's own perception and inference ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷೇಣಾನುಮಿತ್ಯಾವಾಸ್ತುಪಾಯೋ ನ ಬುಧ್ಯತೆ ಎತ್ತಂ ವಿದಂತಿ ವೇದೇನ ತಸ್ಮಾದ್ ವೇದಸ್ಯ ವೇದತ ಓ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಬ್ಲಮಿಶ್ಲೆಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೊ suddenly from the basic vedas whatever we understand he is the invocation of deities daiva mimamsa and then about the various ritualizations there is karma mimamsa and brahma mimamsa is the uttara mimamsa shastra it is the ontological survey of the nature the qualities mode of approach and the means of attaining the brahman so i told that first reason vedas also include vedanta and vedanga certainly artha veda rajaniti shastra and the other various material sciences which are nothing but the extension limbs of the moola veda certainly they will have lot of these things <coughs> even though this veda ananta vai veda vedas are unlimited they are four in nature if you say navaratna it is only a qualitative classification not quantitative it may be uncountable in number rig ajish samana sarva the shakas they have been classified on the basis of the nature of application but these things are uncountable regarding the available portions that is a shruti we know about the brahman the devatas and atma vichara i have already told about that the vedas deal with the management of nature and the deities are the governing forces which are activating the nature in the magha shishupala vada narada is descending from the heaven chayast visham ity avataritam pura at first krishna saw that some light is coming then gradually he understood that it is not light but it is a figure then by proximity he has understood that it is a purusha that is it is a male kramadamum narada ityya bodhisaha then with a vicinity he has understood that is narada so at first he thought that a ray of light is coming then it is not mere light but a figure then it is a male then he concluded that it is narada likewise a person he just sees matter a child can see a computer he can see a device it is something something subjected to the vision not intellect then gradually if it is educated it can understand the application of it the energy behind it then by gradual insight deep insight we can realize that there are deities governing it whatever we see in apparent vision as immaterial things or inanimate things they are governed by governing forces which are known as devatas and by the unlimited grace of god himself by which he reveals his nature we can understand that god the antaryamin of all devatas is revealed so first is apparent vision second is intensive vision and third is transcendental vision we must have the device for it if your person experiences distant objects and their nature through one telescope and if the same thing is allowed for a person who is not assisting that is particular that device if it is not there with the person he cannot have the same experience so it is uh, the nature of maturity of a person and the sadhana bala the instrumental support which makes the person to get something which persons normally cannot get so these type of visions are there 
So the Vedas in the Puru Bhaga, they deal with the management of the nature, such as natural forces such as wind, rain, the seas and ocean, mountains, the earth, the sky, these natural elements. We used to say that cosmos is nothing but it is an association in which there are six members. Matter, energy, spirit, consciousness, time and space. The perfect understanding of the nature, the origin, the expansion and the dissolution of these things which is studied in Cosmogony, that is told in Vedas, that is the understanding of nature, apart from which understanding also the deities, the ways for propitiating the deities through several modes of worship and ritualization. The Uttra Bhaga, that is the Vedanta, it deals with the understanding of the Self and also the understanding of the Supreme. So the Vedic management, it predominantly deals with nature, the deities, Self and the Supreme. So I first suggested that, uh, that is Vedic knowledge means, it directly it did not denote Vedas, but whatever the sublims are there like Chanakya Nidhi Shastra, Bhrugu Nidhi Shastra and the other Vidura Nidhi, these things are available. They do have abundant information about management, other things, etc. Whatever we say, we must understand it in, from the level of the person who has made it. If there is a weightlifter which is, who is doing something, it is not only the process of just lifting which you can do, but also something is behind it. That is the abhyasa and bala. The energy, the strength that the person has developed out of his practice and other austerities, Lifting is a small process. You are having hands. You can lift it. But it is not only the work of the apparatus that is your hand. But behind that, it needs something different. You are having eyes, which does not mean that you can see everything which normally a person can see or abnormally a person can see. There are a lot of these things which presents a cleavage between the levels of people. Before one or two decades, at Bangalore Indian Institute of Science, the Vaimanika Shastra of Bharadwaja, it was taken into scrutiny. And uh, what was concluded, then CNR Das, I think that he was the director, he just simply said that we found it futile, absurd, irrelevant. That's what he told. Then, our answer was, you see, Bharadwaja is a sage. And whatever he has uh, acquainted, acquired, and whatever he has conglomerated, is out of his penance and realization, and it is not by his experimentations in a closed lab or reading some books or something, etc. Then I told two points. If Bharadwaja sees something, if you want...